This experiment is about the electrolysis of water, which will give us a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gases in a two to one ratio by volume. Because they're in just the right ratio to react, a stoichiometric ratio, if we ignite them, a really quite small quantity of them will give a pretty impressive pop. This is the apparatus that we use. This is a 400 cubic centimeter powder jar. And this is the electrode assembly. It's a cork size to fit the powder jar with a single hole uh, and a flexible delivery tube and two platinum electrodes, uh, which are inserted through holes previously bored in the cork. These electrodes need to be an airtight fit. The positive electrode where the oxygen is discharged has to be platinum. The other electrode can be almost any other metal, copper, iron, nichrome. Uh, the electrode where the oxygen is discharged has to resist chemical attack by the oxygen. This is an approximately 0.15 mole per cubic decimeter solution of sodium sulfate. We have to add a little sodium sulfate so the ions will make the water conduct. We fill the jar to the very top so there is no air space at all. And fit the electrode assembly. Inevitably, a little bit of the solution will escape. We place the delivery tube in a beaker of water to which a little bit of washing up liquid has been added. We now connect the electrodes to a power pack set at approximately 12 volts with an ammeter in series. The current here is around 250 milliamps, but it can be anything up to about one amp. And we can begin to see electrolysis taking place at the two electrodes. If you look closely, you'll see that there are significantly more bubbles at the negative electrode where hydrogen is being discharged than at the positive electrode where the oxygen is being produced. It'll take a couple of minutes for the hydrogen and oxygen uh, mixture to displace air from the delivery tube. But after that, you can take a scoop of the bubbles, in a small spatula or a spoon, and ignite these with a lighted paper. <laughs> 